Hi everyone, my name is Khan and welcome to another very very cool video. Finally after a long time I'm back with a review and I believe to have chosen a very cool product to do so. For those of you who don't want to understand it, a review is not a reveal. You will not learn how to do the effect that I will show you today. This is just going through the product, talking about its quality, what you get with it, but no reveal. If you're looking for a reveal, you are at the wrong place. That's been said, today we will take a look at Hollywood or Hollywood, however you want to pronounce it, by Hansen Shen. So let's get started with a performance. So guys, today I would like to talk about something that any magician goes through when creating a magic trick, which is doing something impossible. That I will demonstrate to you with just a playing card and of course a pack of cards that I'm just going to close. This card case has a slit on top of it and that for a reason. I will demonstrate the impossible thing that you want to create with a playing card and with a card case. An impossible thing to do would be getting a playing card through the box including all the other cards. As a magician, you have to find a solution for that. One solution would look something like this. You take the card and you get it through the box. It's a good option, but not the best because it is just an illusion, right? It is just playing around with the perspective. As a good magician, you have to find something that will really fool anyone. And this is how you do it. You take a card and you get it without using perspectives whatsoever, you get it through the card case. And this time, it is no illusion. The spectator can touch the card and pull it through the box. The moment you have created this type of impossible effect, you guarantee incredible reactions. But again, we are magicians. We want to get the impossible even more impossible. And to do so, what we can do is the following. A snap of my fingers turns all the playing cards back to their origins. And what is the origin of a playing card? You guessed it. A wooden block. That can be, of course, exact. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed my performance of this incredible effect. Now, the idea behind this effect is not the most original thing. The original version came out like years ago where you do the same effect with a matchbox and inside the matchbox there would be like a steel block, right? That same effect then got like sort of bigger by turning it into a pack of playing cards that turns into a block of steel or metal. Then there were like other alternatives to it from Kalen Morelli, for example, who did the same effect not with a pack of playing cards, but with a phone and the phone case, right? So this effect is just a great alternative to all of those effects, especially the version where you have a metal piece inside the card case. Here you have a wooden block instead. I personally do like both versions, both the steel version, like the metal version and the wooden version, because in the end they look both incredible and work very well. I mean, if you look for advantages and disadvantages, you will probably find something that you don't like or you like, such as this being more lightweight compared to the metal version, but this is not really something I really care about, at least personally. But now let's jump straight into the review of this product. It comes in this great packaging. When you open it up, the main things you will get will be the wooden gimmick block. Then you will get two empty card cases that have a slit on it. You get really two, which is just great. Then you get another piece of gimmick that you will need for the effect. And along with that, you again get two more of those, so you are really well equipped. Along those things, you will also get some sandpaper inside it, which I really liked, because in the end, you are really using and handling a wooden block. So if you want to maintain it, you can use that sandpaper, which is pretty cool. The explanations of this effect are taught by Hansen Shen himself. I will have to say they are in Chinese, however, subtitles are included. I wouldn't really worry about that too much because in the end, the effect and the method behind it is pretty simple to understand. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, everything is very well described. They even go through a few different effects that you can do with the effect. 
so I really didn't have anything to complain about the explanations. Now this gimmick that you're getting with this effect is not something that is easily produced. That's the reason why this effect comes out in badges. So at the time that you're watching this video it may be sold out, but make sure to check out the link in the description box below to see whether it is still available or not. But I'm pretty sure if they are sold out they will be back in a short time. These are being sent at the moment from Taiwan, so from the producers themselves. So shipping may vary from country to country. In this case, it came here to Germany to me in around seven to eight days. This is basically what you get. It looks like, and it is actually just a wooden block in the shape of a pack of playing cards. If you compare it, of course, with a full pack of playing cards, you will see that its height is almost the same, however it is just a little shorter than a pack of cards, which however I do not see as a problem. When comparing the weight of the gimmick and a pack of cards, they are pretty much the same, which is probably something positive to a lot of you. Now doing the effect itself is very simple to do, because the only thing that you're doing is really getting a playing card and push it through the box. So if you can do that, you can do the whole effect. The preparation that you have to do before an effect is just done within a few seconds, so very quick. And this also counts for the reset time because it is the exact same thing. It may also interest you to hear that you do not need any additional tools to prep your gimmick, just in case you were wondering about it. An important question that most of you may have, can you sort of prep the gimmick accidentally? Or in other words, can spectators figure out how the gimmick is working? I personally would say no, because as long as they do not know how the effect is done in theory, they will have no idea what they should do with this block. They can like hit on it, they can examine it up very close to the sides, up, down, they can look anything they want, they can touch it, handle it, throw it, nothing will happen unless you know what you are looking for and what you have to do to prep the gimmick. So personally, I would say do not really worry about that. You won't have any difficulties with it. Something I really love about this is how well it is made. This to me justifies its sort of high price because knowing what the secret is, you think that when you take a close look at it, you should be able to see something, but that's positively not the way it is. You can really see nothing that will give away how the trick is working. Also, if you're wondering, you do not have to use bicycle playing cards to perform this effect. You do get red bicycle playing card boxes inside the packaging. However, you can also use other playing cards and prep the card case on your own easily. With this effect, I really have nothing to complain about, which I am pretty sorry about because I really try to find also bad things about the product so that you are 100% sure whether to get it or not. But in this case, it is a high price that usually would be a negative thing, but for what you get, for the quality of it and for the mechanics of it, I find it just justified. To sum up, it is great quality, you get great explanations in Chinese, but very easy to follow. Else, it is very easy to perform, very easy to handle. It is pretty much examinable. If they do not know what they are looking for, there is no chance they will figure out how this gimmick is working. If you want to check it out, make sure to click on the link in the description box below. But that was all from me today. I really hope you enjoyed this review, and I really hope that I could help you with that. But that's it. I hope to see you next time.